Hey everybody, one question I get asked a lot is how I cut my shirts, when I cut my sleeves and whatever and crop them. And so I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to do it. It's super easy. It's, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just cut and I'll show that, show you that. Um, so I've got these new shirts from my gym, um, Iron House. These are shirts that are supporting a local gymnastics gym right near Iron House that was destroyed in the tornadoes a couple of weeks ago. So if you are in the Nashville area, stop by the front desk and get yourself a Nashville Strong shirt. It will support magnitude gymnastics. Um, but I want to wear my shirt today and it's got sleeves. I don't like sleeves. You might have noticed I don't really ever wear sleeves. Um, so I need to cut them off. So I wanted to take this chance to show you how to do that. So I'm going to angle my camera a little bit. So hopefully um, you can see what I'm doing. So let's see here. If I turn it down a little. It's a very odd angle, isn't it? Wait, let's see. Okay. So lay the shirt flat, obviously. First things first. I use um, fabric scissors. These scissors don't get used for anything except for fabric. Ask my poor husband and son. Um, I'm kind of psycho about them. If you use them on paper, it will uh, dull the blade. So they only get used when I'm cutting fabric, which pretty much consists of all of my gym shirts. I used to sew, if you could imagine that. I'm not very good at it, but I did used to try. And um, since then, these have been converted to gym cutting scissors. Gym shirt cutting scissors. Um, also, one of the things that's helpful are these pens. This is called Mark Be Gone. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it is, they're sold in the sewing aisles of stores, Walmart and whatnot, or craft stores. And I use them to mark where I want to crop my shirt. I put it on and then I mark it where I want to crop it. And this, the mark just disappears. If it's still there after you crop it, when you wash it, it just disappears. It goes away. So it's pretty cool. So that's helpful. But first for the sleeves. So I will lay it flat. Let's see if you can get it in the picture there. And you know, you obviously have the seam where your sleeve is. I start cutting just below that seam. I, the lower you go, the lower that your shirt, uh, the sleeve opening is going to be. I don't like mine too open, a little bit I like, but not too much. Um, and then I'm gonna cut up. I like my uh, shoulder, whatever, this part here. Um, the tank part of it. I like it to be a little bit closer to my neck. Um, this one I'm wearing is, this came like this, I didn't cut it, but it is more of a muscle tee. Um, I prefer mine to be about half of this, partly just because it kind of shows the shoulders pretty good. So what can I say? So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting and I'm gonna go just below this seam. And then I'm gonna kind of follow the seam up, except instead of just coming straight to the shoulder, as I follow the seam, I'm gonna come a little bit wide and I usually go about halfway between the neckline and um, the shoulder seam. And then you can always crop it smaller from there once you put it on. Um, you, once, if you do it too small from the beginning, then you can't get it back obviously. So it's better to be a little bit conservative there. So. Cut. Another thing to know is that if you've got a pattern or a logo or anything on the back of your shirt, be aware of that and aware of where you're cutting. There you go. So that's one, one sleeve done. And then I'm going to move over to this one. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Make sure you pull out any of these folds like this right here. I don't know if you can see that. But pull out the fold because if you cut it on a fold, it's going to cut really funny. So let me straighten this out a little bit. There we go. So get it nice and straight and even. Just kidding. This one does not want to lay flat, does it? Let's see. It's doing so good. It wants to act up. You can kind of see. I don't know if y'all can see that. You can see through the shirt when you try to push it flat, that there's bumps down there. If you've got those bumps, you're gonna end up cutting um, funny angles into your shirt and you sure don't want that. Okay, so I think I'm good there. This is very awkward trying to get it on camera. Okay, so same deal. How You wanna also pay attention to how far below this seam you cut the other side, cause you want it to be fairly even. And then also on the shoulders, you want it to be about the same size. So pay close attention to that. Um, after you cut your first one so that your second one sort of matches. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be close enough. 
And so you see how nice those fabric scissors cut through. So here is my new shirt, but you know what? I am only five feet tall and this is really long. If I hold it up, you can kind of see. I am, look at, I'm wearing a dress. Like it's even longer than my shorts. So I already marked earlier, I marked with that pen. Let's see, see that blue little line there? So I marked that earlier. So I am just going to roughly cut right at about that spot. I purposely mark it a little bit um, higher or a little bit lower, made longer than what I really want. Because again, once you cut it, if it's too short, you can't get it back. So I would rather make it a little longer, try it on, decide if I need to make it shorten it or if it's good. Also remember if the shirt is brand new and it's not been washed, it might shrink a little bit. So keep all those things in mind when you're, before you cut up your shirt and then you'll be very sad. Um, I actually did that to one of my uh, gym shirts from last year. It's really, 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 really cropped now, which is not cool. So um, I'm gonna try to go as straight as I can through here. Um, you can fold it if you want right at the mark that you put that might help you make a straight line but i tend to just wing it um i'm a rebel like that so new cropped gym shirt i will be wearing it tonight at the gym so maybe i'll post a picture later so there you have it i hope that helped and happy cutting bye